Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Please like and subscribe. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the 3D printed T-tail option for the Rough Gen 1.2 meter. Files are available at sorecraft.com. Check the comments below for details. Uh, to finish the whole plane, the airframe, you need the Rough Gen Basic, which is the rest of the airframe. This video describes how to put together the T-tail option. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so these are the four parts that are different with the T-tail option. Uh, this is the tail section that replaces number 13. This replaces number 14. These are the two control horns that replace 16 and 17. Uses the same horizontal stabilizer. Uses the same length carbon supports. And I have it set up to use the same EZ Dubro connector. Uh, in this system I'm using particular one is the 852 it's the 30 inch micro push rod and it's the 032 push rod so it's a little bit thinner it makes the, the, the bend a little easier and then the easy connector makes it really nice and easy to adjust the final position of the elevator from the outside of the plane in this configuration, I'm setting it up to be uh, uh, an electric. So I actually cut out the back of the fuselage. This is for venting. And then I also took a little bit of material off of each side of the rudder. No, it doesn't move. To uh, be able to vent heat out of the fuselage. So the first thing to do is to put together the control horn. It does kind of matter which side. It, it's kind of biased uh, to one side, but doesn't really matter there's enough movement side to side that you can set it up either way but you want to have the uh, screw to be through hole so it, it's a slip fit and the, the other side tight enough slightly different diameters it doesn't take very long to print these so I mess it up and just print another set This makes it so that you can just push the wire through from the elevator servo and then you can adjust it by tightening down the screw. And then with this, the elevator push rod comes through this hole in the back. You get a um, jeweler's file. This is a round one. Just make sure it's all it's cleaned out. If you go it this direction you can see there's a, a, a support well, it's kind of hard to see the there's a support that comes through about right here and the, the angle of the push rod almost follows it and then it hits the, the corner down here which makes it so that when you feed the push rod in it goes in just kind of twist it keep twisting and it'll come out. Pushing it in this way, uh, I've never tried it. Um, might be possible, but um, this way is much easier. You feed it through. And then the rudder 
kind of finishes that off. You may need to clean up the, the holes through there for the carbon to get through. And you can you can glue these into one side. You can put the carbon in the tailpiece and make sure they're centered and lined up. Several ways to do it. Assemble. And then you glue everything together with this kind of a test fit. I go back and glue everything together with CA, but I want to make sure that uh, this is nice and square with the, the tail. This one is, is relatively tight so it doesn't move too much. Then once you get it, the, the carbon supports glued in place, it's uh, breezed out. The rest of the fuse put together and I'm, but I need to, you need to do this kind of before you put the, the wire in or it just it's kind of a pain. And the T-tail is also set up for carbon supports. You don't have to use them, but highly recommend it. Uh, it just keeps the fuse from failing on tough landings. I usually glue the carbon. They're, they're two millimeter carbon rods. You can use the carbon, carbon tubes if you want to save a little bit of weight. Just gives a little bit of uh, crash worthiness when you hit the ground a little hard. Keeps the tail from having a little bit of issues, but it's relatively strong. There's the T-tail. That's how you build a T-tail for the rough gen. Files available at Zorcraft.com. Uh, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.